Here we are with the JBA upper control arm with a ball from 4X Guard installed. I already did the other side. Uh, something on my Jeep that was different. I don't know if it was messed up from factory. It was those guys. The bolts actually went through that way out towards away from the spring which meant I couldn't pull them back because of the spring so if that's the case for you you'll you'll have to uh, pretty much can get them loose but you can't get the bolts out so you have to undo that which you have to undo anyways the old one assume this is the old one you have to un undo that undo the tie rod end undo um, this, the uh, sway bar linkage, and then you have to take out this bolt, and then I just knock the, keep beating on this lower part, and the arm will drop down, shock pop out, then under the hood, you'll undo the four bolts up there, which on this side means moving the uh, coolant tank and also moving the air box due to getting to the, that bolt and also you pop out the fender which I already put back up here I just need to fasten it and uh, and then and then und you don't have to pull the whole shock unit out you can just loosen it and then flex it and the bolts will slide then slide out then until I reversed them seems to be enough clearance so why not have it go the way that would require not removing the spring and shock so anyways that's a little complication so this has been taking a little longer than it should <laughs> but that is it installed you can see the grease fitting the castle nut on the new one and the old one there's the old one Bushings are a little rusted. I live out in Colorado, so not too bad. So, yep. there we go. And that's the JBA arm and joint, ball joint installed on a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited.